Hello all and welcome to Celine channel. So in this video, I'm just going to talk about my character. So how do I balance my feather, statue, and siju tablets? Plus, I, I guess, um, medals? So yeah, first thing is that you might often see that a lot of video talking about the feathers. You should just focus all on feathers. But the truth is that you have to kind of like balance everything off because what you will see is that once you have reached a certain tier of um, tier level of the feather itself, it needs a lot of materials in order to level up. So it costs you diamonds, it's gonna cost you nyan. So what I'm doing here is kind of like uh, do some comparison. So it's like you, you have to compare like the value of it so do i use more diamonds or nyan to, on this feather here do i gain that value that i have spent or maybe i can just use the same value and put it into let's say a statue and gain some benefit from it so you can see that uh right now my valkyrie well so this is so called my main feather set i'm using full orange plus one tens uh level 10 not level 10 tier 10 purple feather and this one here it gave me the sad bonuses that has the pvp stats so if you are using three orange plus two purple it just giving you until up to the pve stat and you do not enjoy the pvp stats so pvp damage bonuses uh, so t pvp damage reductions and damage bonus you can see it at the feather bonus here so it added into the bottom here and for this one here so i have one pvp and for the rest of it it's much more like so this one here i also started to build it kind of like pvp kind of things so before it i was using true tier full feather here I'm enjoying the PvE set, but uh, what I can do is kind of like switch. So if I'm going into PvP content, I just use my light tier feather here. And if I'm using for farming purposes, I can just switch it back to this one here to enjoy more PvE stats. So you can see here is 39%, and if I replace it, it's 33 and let's just see the attack from 11 up to 13 so this is some benefit that i can gain by switching when based on the scenario that I'm, I'm gonna use so the dp is not important and here you can see i'm using three orange tier and let's just up this one three orange plus two uh just enjoy the pve and here as well three orange plus two purple so enjoy only the pve if i'm gonna put the so if i'm gonna put the pvp in here it's also kind of i mean i can switch so if i look into here this is tier two because of the like mm, i might want to put this like tier and here so i can enjoy this is tier four here this is tier 3 here, so I might want to uh, put the light here and the time if I put my time in here. Four. No, the time is here. So if I have a better tier, tier 3 orange, I, I might want to switch it, but uh, right now I think. No, time tier 4. This is also time tier 4. This is, I'm enjoying tier 5. So if let's say I compare with Iris of the tiers, like right now this one here, I know it's stuck at tier 2. If I have a time tier 5 here, I might want to switch it to, into here so that I can get tier 5 bonus here. So switch 5 and 4, but right now both of it are 4, so it's okay. And for here, I'm enjoying tier 3. So I might want to switch my tier 4 here. So remove this one here. 
and put the tier 4 in here replace so that i have much more pve stat in here and then putting the tier 3 1 and 2 here since it doesn't really matter because i'm enjoying the tier 2 here so i want to maximize my tier as well as well as the stats i mean the set stats here and also the individual stats so this is the choice that you're gonna make uh, so this one here because it's stuck at tier 2 so anything that has good stat just put it in yeah like this one here i might want to switch it over to android tier 4 set for my day and this one here so you might want to do some mats here to switch it over a bit so that you can enjoy more bonuses i mean uh, it helps a lot by just taking some effort and, and looking into all the details here so this one here i think i want to upgrade it so this is gonna be the next one that i'm gonna upgrade same for the defense so right now my defense i'm just enjoying the pve stat uh right now this three purple two orange if i'm gonna put it here so this one here is also almost the same thing as this it's, it's only the hp and the damage reductions bonus gonna be a bit higher but i want to enjoy the tier bonus so i, I just use three purple here same for this one enjoy higher tier for defense and this one here as well so i can see most of my defense are all purple at, except for this one i did put one of it here to enjoy at least one pvp stat but of course it's just gonna be tier one so i want to make sure that my terra tier four and grace tier nine here do i have anything so this is terra tier five is still okay this is tier five terra and then for this one here i'm also using all purple here plus one true for tier here mm. yep so far i guess that's is good everything seems good this one here have higher tier this is also higher tier so defense right now i i kind of care less on defense so i think this is good and I talk about like how you maximize your value. So let's say right now, I did some tweak on my uh, attack feather. So these two are tier four. Um, right now, if I look into it, it's a time uh, time feather. That is something that I need to upgrade it. So if I click on it right now, I need eleven more time feather. So I can, uh, what I can do is go into my neon berries job if i put less is 11 or 12 so the baseline is 12 to move 12 a uh, tier 3 to tier 4 and it's 12 of it 3 to 4 12 of it it costs you 720 nyans so 720 nyans if i look back into here so if i look back into here so it's gonna be the set bonus so the first thing is that to look at the set bonuses it's gonna be increased by one tier if i add the time tier and upgraded it so the first thing pve damage bonus i gonna get like plus seven on pve damage bonus physical magical attack itself gonna be plus two ignore physical defense gonna be plus four and ignore magical defense gonna be plus two at here. Um, oh, let me just let me just uh, record it down. So this is the so-called individual bonus that I enjoy from the seven hundred twenty yen that I'm gonna spend on here. So th this is the first thing. And of course, the second thing is on the stat bonus. Uh, unfortunately, I could not look into the stat bonus, like what's gonna be like at tier five, but I can compare something that I have tier five. Maybe, maybe this one here, but it, it may be slightly higher than it has. 
So 42% here and looking back into the tier 4 is 39. So I enjoy a plus 3% on it. So let's just click back up better. So I enjoy an additional of 3% of PVE damage reductions and PVE damage bonus there if I up it to tier 5 for that set. Attack stat here is 14% and looking into this one here, this is 13%. So I gain one more percent on the stat bonuses. So if you compare it, if let's say from here, I could see that, uh, so 720 yen. If I'm gonna spend 720 yen on this time tier here, the first thing that I'm gonna get is upgrade let's just see here i have the pve damage bonus plus seven and an additional three percent on top of everything that i have here so 104 if i take on my calculator let's just show this calculator here as well um cal 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 to later how do i show my calculator give me a second Let's just bring it in. Yep, so right now my PB damage bonus is 0, 104 plus the one that is 7%. So it's gonna be 111 and 111 right. Oh, 111. Uh, sorry. 111 is actually meant to be the 39% in, included in the 39%. So I, I should use 104. Mm, divide by 139%, I think. 7, 74. Uh, let's just calculate in this way. So this one is 38. Where's my calculator? Oh, I closed it off. Dummy. Okay, calculator. So this one here, 38. So 38 plus this one doesn't have it. This one doesn't have it. This one PV damage bonus plus 37. And then I have it sky tier here. This one doesn't have it as well. Yeah. Um. Oh. 38 plus 38 plus 37. So. 38 plus 37 so it's 75 so yeah it's it's actually the same as just now the calculation 75 plus this 39 percent um 75 times 139 percent and then you get around 104 yep 104 here so i can use 75 plus so if i'm gonna spend that 720 yen in here 75 plus that baseline increase of seven percent of pve damage bonus 82 then times the 42 so we we think it's 42 when we, it ups to tier 5 um not 42 it's 142 percent here so it's gonna increase to 116 from 104 it increased to 116 so it's a 12 percent increase on the pve damage bonus and uh because the pve damage reductions is just something that benefit i mean in, in here it doesn't have the pve damage reductions unless if i think the like here you if you equip the light tier you will have that in there but because in this set here i do not have the light tier so it, it just doesn't add up and of course in this set here i do not want to use let me just off the calculator i do not want to use any feather that has pvp damage so if i put the pvp damage bonus in here it doesn't make sense if i'm enjoying because the pve stat here i do not have the pvp here so it doesn't add to it so i might just miss out that in there if i replace this one here and you can see that it just reduced everything 
even like the one that I'm using the sky tier, it doesn't have that, uh, so it, it also doesn't really affect that. So the main thing is really the text that that is important in this tier here because the PBE stat right now is only benefit when I'm using this two here. But if let's say I do not put any PBE feather in here, let's say I just put the um, space time here and this one I'm using another different kind of PVP feather so this stat here is just totally being wasted so you might not want to do something like that in here so 720 I can gain like uh, 116 PVE bonus here so this is something good of course I would like to also look at the attack so the attack gonna be one additional plus one additional attack and um, in here itself for the time I will gain like plus two attack so that is let's just summon back the calculator so from here attack plus two gonna be 17 if I click it here this is 17 and then this one here PVE damage bonus it doesn't have the attack here so it's just ignore and you can see here it also helps on ignore so that is something benefit in this tier as well ignore gonna be up as well but in here i'm just going to explain with attack uh, percentage so that you can look into it 17 plus 9 plus this one here 10 and then this one here 18 and i have 54 54 times right now is 13 percent so i want to times one one three percent uh not one one three so right now it's 58 with the one one three on 54 attack uh i do not want to times one one three uh, let's see if 54 times one one four uh four percent so that is because if i'm gonna increase it attack that plus one percent here and with that p attack plus two and equal so it's gonna be 61 so from 80 uh 58 it's gonna be increased until to 61 i gain p attack plus three here if i'm gonna spend this 700, 200, uh, 720 yen so 720 yen to increase p attack by only plus 3 here so yeah that that's the reality but of course that's still ignore defense here um ignore defense and physical damage if you have any thing with the physical magical damage it's gonna be help but uh, right now i do not have anything that have physical or magical damage so it, do we have anything with physical magical damage yes we do it's under the like so this one here is under the like you have the physical magical damage and that is something good for me as a merchant that's why you can see this one even at tier 2 i just kind of like uh, give and take and put it the like there because i need that physical magical damage bonus here 0 0.3839 uh, so this is why i put it like here as well and uh yes 720 back to this one here 720 if i'm gonna use 720 on this one here and if i gonna compare it with my light here so it needs 11 of it so how do i obtain it it's also from the Nyan shop and it costs you 100 so 100 here it means that if i need 11 of it 11 of it it's gonna cost me 1010 yen so it's almost like uh, 1.75 times than the one that i'm using on the uh on the time space nyan so the times times nyan so right now i think i will i wouldn't i wouldn't choose this one first unless if there's any special event that could like give some discount on that feather i would go for it 
and other than that i will just look into the statue so statue if you look into let's say if if you look into like this one here the 12 lenses it add physical attack plus two um so right now it's level five so i might not want to look into this i will look okay this one here plus two this is also plus two this is also plus two and this one here it needs six of it while this one here because i have unlocked it it only need three of it and how do i obtain it it's from the diamond shop of course i i will purchase every time with the diamond and for the additionals one i can get it from the statue shop here with dismantling the um valkyrie dwell stuff that i do need so if i go into here this shield of 12 is no longer needed i just have to dismantle those and get those in here so this doesn't really cost me i mean it doesn't cost me nyan yet for this early stage but in the later stage if you are aiming for all this here you can see you have pvp damage bonus here stat overview so you can have like additional different kind of stat by unlocking it at zero level so if i look into here i'm actually enjoying to increase damage to all size plus 0 0.3 and uh, how much do i need in here so if i click into here statue nyan berry i can purchase with nyan berry it's gonna cost me 300 times nine nine times three two thousand seven hundred so two thousand seven hundred for this one here is it worth it or not or do i want to spend it on a feather first or because what you are doing here is if you have noted that those damage to raises damage bonuses um raises to size and also to the to the elemental it actually benefit more than the p attack itself the physical attack itself and this one here because of the damage to all damage to all races it means that it increase significantly because of what we are using here as well we are kind of like focusing on our cards so on top of the cards itself that damage there actually deals more than the p attack and do i want to keep my nyan as a long-term investment invest at 2700 on 2700 on the on this one here so it's gonna take some time for me to really just to unlock this one here but by unlocking it at level zero Will that 2700 be worth more than the 702 uh, 20 nyan that increased just 3 plus 3 p attack? So that is something that is like you, you will have to need to calculate is it physical, is it the attack stat that is important to your character or the damage bonus stat that is important to your character? So for me right now, I would say. At, at my stage at this current stage of mine i would say i i would unlock try to unlock this one first with my limited yant available and because this one here is also takes some time so if you see there is a weekly limit of three so i might want to get this one here every week just a little kind of cost like 900 per week um so accumulate like three weeks time i i could get this unlock and this might be something that could benefit to me and this is also kind of like pv uh, pvp oh i forgot to off my calculator so this is also kind of helpful in pvp because of the damage to that my human angel plus 0.4 percent here so it has pvp stat in here this is a stat overview and you have the rank stat here as well um yeah so i would say if i compare the value itself let's see 7200 
divide by let's just summon back the calculator 702 uh where's my calculator yeah okay two seven zero zero and then divide by because i have two set of feathers that need <coughs> sorry then need the time tier so here one second one at here so i can like 720 for this two if i divide by 720 up oh, sorry 2700 divide by so two let's just do the mess again 300 ah oh. i can <laughs> how how do i use the calculator why i can't use the calculator correctly you have 2700 this is ah 2700 divided by 720 it's like you can up for four times but of course it's not gonna be four times because you will need more and more feather every time you have increased a tier so i would say three three feather so it's gonna be like will you sacrifice like around plus nine plus nine attack for the damage that you have in here so statue this one here will you spend that uh will you sacrifice do you want the attack plus nine or plus ten around that range because it's gonna be tier six in the next one um so do you want it to plus ten physical attack or magical attack plus ignore defense or do you want the damage to them on human reductions from them on human angel there plus the statues that damage to all races plus 0 0.3 do you think that that is worth to exchange that plus 9 with this one here so you have the pve damage bonus here as well but you have the damage bonus at there as well so it's like it really depends like how, how do you want to put it in that way so there's a lot of calculations needed there if you would like to save up a bit if you are a will of course you would say uh, it doesn't matter to me because you just have to spend your credit card on it but if you have limited nyan so this is something that you can do so something that i'm doing right now is to compare like which one brings me more benefit in the future so let's say so right now I would like to focus on this just get it to zero at least unlock it and of course with that i can use the daylight carving hammer here to unlock some of the stats in here as well so when i'm leveling it up at here so after that those small little thing like it's only require like one of it and you can have a significant uh sorry significant can't impact on this one here so it's like by purchasing 30 uh not 30 300 nyan item i can increase this damage versus small size of course this was small size there makes versus medium size monster so this one here it adds 0.4 percent so I might want to increase this one first before I unlock this so it is like you have to compare each of it and see which one you really want it for so let's say so right now i have unlocked this miss here i have the part here large size so the large size is good for bosses so i might want to spend my 300 nyan on this one so if i compare just this statue with so just now i kind of like prioritize statue over to my all my way up to my feather but right now if i compare back so 720 720 nyan for moving tier 3 to tier 4 for the feather it increased three physical attack but if i compare it here again um if i'm gonna use the nyan berry shop 300 here i can purchase two of it i can purchase two of it because i have unlocked this one here and that two of it it gonna be like 0.4 percent increase for one 0.8 percent increase for two 
And I have the PvE damage reductions for this one here. This one is PvE damage bonus. So I might want to buy this one here rather than the feathers because it's like it only cost me 600 neon which is lesser than the feather 720 and then I can have immediately impact on on my current I mean 600 is like it's cheaper and this one value here is actually better than what I have if I use it on the feather so in this case I might want to focus on this one first before I move into this so it really depends if you let's say if you have a higher tier so once this one has reached higher tier it needs like two of it then you can try to unlock this one so it's really like mix and match and progress different kind of things from time to time and not just focus on really just pure one stuff um yeah so right now i'm just comparing the feather with the statue of course you have the metals as well so let's say for the metal in here you can see it's 0 0.35 0 0.35 increase and this one here you can also purchase with the nyant and uh, the nyant itself of course do not purchase with the nyant this one here you have a special pack here that cost you 115 yen get all of those there so it's a 50 percent off you might want to get this rather than a feather because if i purchase this one here with just 150 being spent and i can just like automatically increase this one with 150 of course i have the balance that i can use on different kind of metal here as well so this one here increase additional hp um 40 pets itself and then i have this spring water metal that i can just maybe spend a few more of my nyans on it and increase it to level 10 and of course there's the cap so you can keep on purchase it quickly because there's this limit but once you have reached that level it's gonna be benefit you and boom there, there would be a significant in impact on your damage so just do some mats and yeah right now i would say um the thing that i focus with the nyan is really feather statue and metal and for my priority at my stage right now it's more like statue metal it's much more important than a feather so at as at the beginning stage i kind of focus on my feather but right now because if i look into it i have my metal I have my statue. Of course, this two gonna be something that benefit me and giving me more value in terms of per nyan that I spend. So these two are the things that I'm gonna focus right now. And yeah, I guess that is all about this. And yeah, one more thing is about the mouth itself. So one thing that one mistake that I did is I saw my kiwi off at the store for Danny and I'm kind of like um, regret. So what I'm going to do here, so if you look into the mount again, every time when you're leveling it up with the tread here, and you can see that if you click on the question mark, a job mount um, character stat benefit from the mount stat. So it benefit from this mount stat here. So that's why you should actually fitted kiwi so if you think that a kiwi that can purchase from nyan shop here 100 is worth for the gacha but i obviously no do not use 100 nyan for the gacha here but if you think that you are someone who are enjoying on the gacha so you can see right now it minus three coverage i did not use it i i have it's like you have the intelligent you have the lovely here with. I mean, if you overall calculate it, this two adds up, it's better than the Courage and Furious. But then, if you look at the stat, so we want the physical magical attack and we want the Furious, which is a physical magical damage. So, even with something that has more additional stuff that add to it, I do not save it because uh, this one here is something that it's gonna take out my physical attack and physical damage here. So I do not do it. I although this stat here is good, but I
do not use this because it just minus off this two here so you might want to really focus on your curvature if the, this is really the default options that you're gonna spend your kiwi but right now i i would say the nyan focus on the metal and statues because this this here are the ones that give you the most valuable value if you are someone who are same at the same stage as me but this really depends on every individual because you have a different kind of build for me damage is better than the attack but for your character for different kind of job it might have a different kind of stat and of course this also depends on what kind of build you are building so just give a little bit of time on investing stuff into that and uh, you can just enjoy all of those in there. And yeah, that's all for this video here. And I hope this video is helpful for you. Thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Bye.